Dana Malcolm, this is your midday edition of Top Stories for Friday, December 29th. We're almost to 2024, with days left till the countdown for the new year. It's the news that matters most. You can always find what you're looking for and what you need at Quality Food World. Shop retail, shop wholesale. Quality has the brands you know, the brands you love. Always quality. Big savings every day. And remember to look out for sales for even bigger savings. Open 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mondays through Saturdays. Open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sundays. On the Five Keys Access Road. Quality Food World, a prime trading company. The wait for firearm licenses has been a long-time concern for residents in the Turks and Caicos. The Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force has revealed several reasons why they're delayed. First, Darren Williams, Deputy Commissioner. We have not yet get to the stage where we have to vet and process those those applications as yet. Hopefully in the coming year. Another issue is related to criminal behavior. Rodney Adams, acting commissioner, explains. Two licensed firearm holders in recent months was relieved of the firearms by criminals. Okay? Uh, we, we will not just be issuing firearm license because you say you have a business. Adams maintained that more concrete reasons were needed to hand over guns to residents. As we leave the season of gifting behind, a new report from Baby Center aims to help parents avoid raising spoiled children. They say, let your child make the case for a privilege or new possession. This helps them understand the idea of earning presents instead of getting things just because. Set up a reward system for good behavior and, if possible, give an allowance which will help them learn to budget. There has been an increase in reports of sexual violence in the Turks and Caicos, but Dean Holden, superintendent of safeguarding and public protection, says it's partly because more people are coming forward. Invariably, these offences are routinely underreported, so we have had an increase. However, part of that is because we've had more engagement with communities, and particularly through our safeguard and public protection, to encourage people to come forward and report those matters. Holden was speaking at the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Forces National Press Conference on December 22nd. Magnetic Media is your news leader. At Fortis TCI, we're committed to diversifying how we produce energy by integrating more alternative energy sources. We've conducted several comprehensive studies over the years to guide our decision making, including a wind study to help determine the best energy mix to meet the country's current and future energy needs. We continue to use smart, strategic investments in solar energy and are exploring lower carbon emitting fuels such as natural gas. We own and maintain 18 rooftop solar energy systems at partner properties across the community that feed renewable energy back to our grid. We're constructing TCI's first solar-powered microgrids and introducing battery energy storage technology to help offset when the sun isn't shining. Once our microgrids come online, North and Middle Caicos will be 30% solar-powered and Salt Key 91% solar-powered. Over time, these steps will help to reduce the impact of global fuel price shocks on local energy costs and lower our carbon emissions. The transition to alternative energy sources requires major investments, sustainability partnerships, and a reform of regulations that govern the utility sector and shape the energy landscape. And while we're transitioning, the scale and speed at which we do has to balance many things, including affordability and ensuring we maintain our reliability to keep power flowing whenever you need it. A local humanitarian group in Bermuda called Bermuda is Love is calling for free school meals for all children and a legislated right to food as low-income residents struggle with food security. The Royal Gazette reports that a month-long campaign is ongoing in an effort to spark a, quote, cultural shift in the way that food is produced, valued, regulated, distributed, and sold in the country. Arrests have been made locally regarding a Turks and Caicos-bound shipment of guns busted by U.S. officials in November 2022. Dean Holden, superintendent of police, explains. We believe it was intended to come to Providenciales. Um, five local people have been arrested um, in respect to that. Holden says investigations are ongoing following last year's November 15th bust carried out by the U.S. Homeland Security. A new report from CBS News indicates a much smoother holiday travel season this year when compared to 2022. 
Over the holiday weekend, there were less than 350 flight cancellations. Last year, blizzards, tornadoes, and airline meltdowns caused the delay and cancellation of over 16,000 flights. Remember, these and more stories are posted to our website. Get all the details at magneticmediatv.com. I am Dana Malcolm. Thank you for joining us.